Today we're looking at how to create Facebook conversion ads. If you don't know what they are, Facebook conversion ads are a type of campaign that you run to maximize leads and sales or anything else that you deem meaningful. If used correctly, Facebook conversion ads can make your marketing budget go further and create a highly engaged audience that is ready to do business with you. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. There are two main reasons that Facebook conversion ads aren't used very heavily today. The first one is that people are unaware that they even exist. And second, there's this perceived complexity when it comes to Facebook conversion ads on how to run them. However, when you make the time to understand them, Facebook conversion ads become a marketing game changer for you. So today I'm gonna simplify it for you. I'm gonna show you the four steps that you need to create a highly effective Facebook conversion ad. First, you need to create a Facebook pixel. Second, you need to install that Facebook pixel. Third, you need to create a conversion. And then fourth, you need to launch your Facebook conversion ad. Now, all of those four steps are extremely important, but just know that they don't work unless you hit the like button. Seriously, it helps me out so much. So thank you for hitting that like button. Let's go to the screen share. The first step we need to take care of is creating our Facebook pixel. A Facebook pixel is a piece of code that you're about to see that gets embedded on your website. That way, whenever somebody lands on your website, they are tracked. You're able to run retargeting ads towards them. So it's a very powerful technology that you have to leverage in your business. Even if you don't do conversion ads, install your Facebook pixel as quickly as possible. The benefit of this video is that in the next couple of minutes, you're gonna learn exactly how to do that. So first, let's take care of creating our pixel. You're gonna go to your pixels up here in the events manager. And since I already have a beta pixel with this one, I don't need to create another data source. So I'll show you what happens. If you've never created a pixel before, you're gonna have a big green button right here that says create pixel. Once you press on that pixel, it's gonna ask you to name it. And you can name it whatever, as long as you identify what that pixel is for, then you're good to go. Because note that you can create multiple pixels if you like. All right, so I'm gonna go through. Uh, I'm gonna go through the back end. So I'm gonna go to setup, install pixel. This is the screen that you are going to see regardless. So if you are creating your pixel for the first time, you have that big green button that says create pixel. You're gonna click on it, name your pixel, and then you're gonna end up here. So nothing is different. Now, if you have a website that's partnered up with Facebook, I'm gonna click on it so you see the various websites. So if you have a Squarespace website, a Teespring website, HubSpot website, whatever it is, you're able to connect directly with Facebook. So you're a partner and it's gonna be super easy. Now, many of you don't have that partner integration, so you can do this manually. Even if you have the partner integration, you can actually embed it manually. All you have to do is click manually left click here, which is the base code, and then go place it on your website. So for our purposes, let me go over here and show you how to do that on KV Core. A lot of you have KV Core, which is a CRM that has um, that has websites abil abilities. So you see here the custom header, that's where your Facebook pixel goes. So this is actually my KV Core, so I'm not gonna be replacing it with this particular code because it's a test code, but or a text pixel, test pixel, there we go. So I'm not gonna replace it here, but all you have to do is embed your Facebook pixel here and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on ClickFunnels, which a lot of you have ClickFunnels as well. And if you would like to try it out for a 14 day free trial, use the link down below and it'll hook you right up. Now you don't have to use either or, you don't have to use KV Core or ClickFunnels. You can use lead pages, you can use, as you saw, Squarespace, any website out there that has the ability for you to embed that code, you're good to go. So basically any website out there. So just dig around and if you have any questions, either reach out to me or reach out to your IT person or anybody that does your website management, your webmaster. On ClickFunnels, however, how you, how you install your Facebook pixel is by going to your head tracking code as you saw the settings right there. I'm gonna open this up and I'll replace this with the Facebook pixel that I just um, that I just got the code from. For you, if you're just creating it, that's where you're getting the code from. 
you're gonna save and update and what we've just done you've knocked out two items you've knocked out creating the Facebook pixel and you've knocked out installing the Facebook pixel so let's go back and finish up so turn on automatic advanced matching so you're gonna turn all that on and you're gonna test it right here but we don't need to do that right now given that I already have it um I already have it set up but you can certainly test it and you would get the option right there you're gonna continue and you're good to go you have created your Facebook pixel and you have installed your Facebook pixel here you don't have to create an event unless you want to but let's just say you wanted to create an event all you have to do is click here put in the website URL which an event think of it as an action on your website in fact this could actually be seen as a custom conversion so all you have to do is put the URL from here into there and you're off and running but we're not going to confuse the issue create events if you would want to want if you want to I'll leave some resources in the description below so you see the differences between the two but we're not going to take the time today and what you've done right now again you've created the Facebook pixel and you've installed a Facebook pixel now remember the third step you need to create a custom conversion in order to run the conversion campaign so what we're gonna do now is gonna come up here go to custom conversions and we get to create a custom conversion so here since this is a test account I don't have one so I'm gonna go to create a custom conversion and it's pointing to that pixel that's my beta pixel and I am gonna say include all URL traffic events that meet the following criteria and the following criteria that I'm gonna select is this is very important I'm gonna select the URL on the thank you screen so let's pause for a quick second note that I put the website pixel on the entire funnel on the entire page and now I'm gonna select the URL right here from the thank you page why the thank you page the reason that we're selecting the thank you page is because if somebody lands on this particular URL this particular page that means that they already gave us their contact information from the landing page I'm requesting that up front so you see right here this is a landing page that people see from the front end and they only end up on the thank you page if they submit their contact information so is that making sense if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below but this is very important for you to understand because every time that I do consults I get um, I get a bit of confusion here and people are putting the putting this URL on the conversion that's not um that's not what you want you want to measure how many uh, how many conversions you actually have and you want to optimize for those conversions so you want to optimize for the amount of leads that came in so I'm gonna take that URL I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna paste it right there so what I'm saying is count this as a conversion Facebook every time somebody lands on that URL and now I'm gonna name it let's say buyer lead conversion beta pixel select the category I'm gonna say that it's a lead value you don't have to put a value but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put one a value if you know how much a conversion means to you then you can certainly put that value there this makes more sense if you're doing a a purchase of a service or a product not necessarily a lead but you can certainly put a value here as well so I'm gonna put one dollar I'm gonna create all right so we have just knocked out three items very very quickly so we have created our Facebook pixel we have installed our Facebook pixel and now we have created our custom conversion now before we continue going and creating our creating our um, our ad we want to test it so what you want to do is either preview it that's one getting this URL and making it fire so you want this to trigger you want this to go out and the conversion to actually be read so you want it to be active if you don't test your pixel first then when you're creating your campaign then you're gonna have a bit of a struggle because it um it's not active yet and you cannot run the conversion campaign unless it's active so now that we have manually triggered the conversion it, it this will turn into green very shortly so we're not gonna worry about that because I know that's what it will but for you certainly take the time to do that 
Going to go back to Ads Manager. I'm going to create. And all of that to get to this point. We are going to the conversions. Now we have the ability to create a conversion. So we're going to go very, very quickly now because this is the home stretch. This is what you are most likely accustomed to at this point. So when it comes to the new campaign, um, well, when it comes to naming, we're not going to name it. I'm not worried about that. If you're running a credit employment and housing type of ad, then you're going to select that you're running a, an ad in the special ad category. So we're going to select housing. We're going to leave the campaign details alone. Split testing, we're not going to worry about, although you can do it if you want. Campaign budget optimization, we're not going to worry about. Now we get to the ad set. And here we are. It is active now, the buyer lead conversion. That is everything Everything that we did up until this point was designed for that to happen. Now we go on and create the campaign just like regular, like you've done a traffic campaign, uh, almost like a lead generation campaign, but um, any other type of campaign, you're in the home stretch. So we're gonna breeze right through this so you see how to finish it up. But again, everything that we did and we worked on tirelessly is right here. That is the end result. Not gonna worry about dynamic creative offer or budget or schedule. And then our custom audiences, we're not gonna worry about. Let's just say we're gonna market in Dallas. Dallas, Texas, people living in this location only, 15 mile radius. Since we're in the special ad category, we can adjust based off of age, based off of gender, any demographics. So we are making do with what we have. And if we're trying to get some buyer leads or seller leads, then we're gonna go with Zillow. And we're gonna split test this versus Trulia, versus Realtor.com, versus renovations, versus other um, ad targeting. So if you're interested in learning how to generate real estate leads, I do have a course that's going to be linked down below, Facebook Ads Mastery for Real Estate Leads, then um, I highly encourage you to check it out there because I do have the targeting, I have the ad copy, and I have everything that you're going to need to generate leads for less than $2. $2, right? Cool. So let's continue going. Placements, I highly encourage you to select the manual placement so you're not spending money outside of the platforms that you want to be on. So we're going to select only Facebook newsfeed, which is basically the home screen to whenever somebody logs in. And another reason that we're selecting the placements is because if you were to select, let's just say the automatic placements, your ad would be running on the Instagram stories, on your Facebook stories. So the dimensions are going to be off because remember, on Facebook newsfeed, it's a bit more horizontal, but when you're in the stories, things tend to happen vertically. All right, so we're gonna continue. Conversion, we're gonna leave like it is. Conversion window, seven days click or one day view. That is perfect, that's what you want. You're gonna continue. Then you're gonna select your ad name, the Facebook page that you're gonna run the ad in, the single image video, carousel image or con collection. So most of the campaigns that I run are either a single image video or carousel. It's about 50-50 at this point, single image and video versus carousel. I'm just, I continue to split test with the ad copy, so keep that in mind. And then if you're attracting some buyers, let's just add an image from stock photos. Let's just say we are trying to attract some buyers, so we're gonna need a home. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so that kind of put us inside of the house. Let's stay out of the house. Let's say house. All right, so that looks like a great house. We're gonna select it, continue. And if you're trying to uh, if you're trying to attract home buyers, whoops! If you're trying to attract home buyers, then you can put something. Let's see where you see it. Can you see it right there? I think you can. There we go. Um, then you would just do a price drop. So you would do price drop ad. Uh, let's see. Attention. Now let's just go with price drop on Dallas home. Uh, bum, bum, bum. And then we're going to 
So price drop on Dallas home. I would put in some emojis. If I had the ad copy readily, I would get it and play, place it here. Price drop on Dallas home. And then I'm going to identify a unique characteristic of the property. Don't miss your lakefront property. Or don't miss this lakefront property. Click learn more for virtual uh let's say pictures pictures address price and virtual tour and then they're gonna be fed over to well let's get finish the price drop um huge discount now we're doing the headline down here so you see the deadline the headline <clears throat> will not last all right and then you're going to put the url now you're going to put the url of the landing page right here you're going to take this url going to go back here and then you're going to place the url make sure there's no spaces Make sure that your Facebook pixel is on and you publish and you've just demystified Facebook conversion ads. You, this is all it takes. I know it sounds like a lot, but once you get through it once, twice, three times, you're a master. So go out there, create some Facebook conversion ads. They are super well worth it. Well, now that you know how to, well, now that you know how to create Facebook conversion ads, you might be interested in the exact ad copy that is generating real estate leads for less than $2. So I'll leave that video right here that shows you exactly that ad copy. And if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.